So today we're going to talk about overcoming the flesh. What do we need to do uh, to live victorious over the things we face in our flesh? So how do we overcome? I want to just present to us four simple things uh, on, on what you and I must do as believers. Number one, know you are free from the power of sin. First thing, know that you are free from the power of sin. And we saw this earlier. Jesus finished this work for us on the cross. Romans 6 and verse 6. Let's read that. Knowing this. Right. Let's, yeah, let's read it. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, so that we no longer should be slaves of sin. So he says, know this. Know this truth. Take it to your heart. Embrace it. Know this truth. What? That our old man, the old sinful nature was nailed to the cross. You do not have a sinful nature that was broken. It was put to death. And the body of sin, talk about the power of sin over our lives, was destroyed. So that we no longer need to be slaves of sin. Number two. Is use the word in relation to your area of weakness. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. So the word of God has a cleansing effect on our lives. It cleanses us. How can a young man keep his way clean? By paying attention to your word. Letting the word affect his life. So what must we do? You must use the word in relation to your area of weakness. You see, even if you go to the, I don't know, which, where you go do your grocery shopping, but even if you buy 10 bars of soap and bring it home, if you don't use the soap, mother is still going to say, you don't smell good. It's not going to help. It doesn't matter how many versions of the Bible you have sitting at home. If you don't open even one of them and take it in and use that word, it's not going to help. So we need to use the word, take the word of God and use it against, in your area of weakness, against that sin. Number three, walk in the spirit and crucify the flesh. Galatians 5 verse 16, the scripture says, let's read it. Walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So you walk in the spirit, you're going to overcome the flesh. You won't give in to it. Because the Holy Spirit is going to empower you to overcome the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Now, what happens when you and I are walking in the spirit? And this is where I wanted to reference Romans 8. But we'll pick a few verses there. Romans 8 verse 13. Let's read it. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of your body, you will live. Number four. Put on Jesus and make no room for the flesh. Put on Jesus. It's Romans 13 verse 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its so what's Paul saying? He says, put on the Lord Jesus. What does it mean to put on? To put on Jesus means to desire to be like him. In thought, word, and deed. Be like him. Put on Jesus. So I'm going to be like Jesus. Put on Jesus. So when you get out in the morning, when you go to school, your college, your place of work, a business meeting, whatever. I put on Jesus. I'm going to be like Jesus in that situation. I'm going to be like Jesus when I meet that person. I'm going to be like Jesus when I enter that, that meeting. I'm going to be like I'm put on Jesus. I'm going to be like him in thought, word, and deed. How do we overcome the flesh? Recap these four points. Know you are free from the power of sin. Number two, use the word in relation to your area of weakness. Number three, walk in the spirit and crucify the flesh. Number four, put on Jesus and make no room for the flesh.